Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx and welcome back to Echoes of the Eye. Everything's different now. Everything feeling wise about this DLC has completely flipped on its head. And I kind of wasn't expecting it, there, there were plot twists in the base game. I still don't know how the game ends, you know, that there's a lot of stuff that's still unanswered. But I don't feel like there was quite as much of a plot twist as this. There were bits that definitely shook me, there were bits that affected me on an emotional level. But that absolute bulldozer of a lore reveal I haven't even recovered from and that was what like three days ago now it's still going round and round and round and round and round in my head this game definitely does a marvelous fantastic job of exploring in my eyes anyway what it is to be human it's, it's the human complex it's everything from loss and grief to love and hope and our innate pursuit of knowledge. It's something that humans do. We need to know more. And the Nomai needed to know more. The Nomai arguably were taking it even further than the Freaklets ever did. And I know some people maybe don't like me using the term Freaklets now or have questioned the use of Freaklets now that we know a bit more of their true nature. I mean it in the most endearing way possible they will forever be freaklets in my eyes. The Nomai were willing to sacrifice an entire star system, albeit in, you know, hopefully to go back in time, and then therefore there isn't really a sacrifice going on, per se, but the freaklets gave everything. That whole ship it's all they have left. And all this time I've been trying to wrap my head around, why don't they just leave? Why don't they go home? Why this defeatist attitude? Why do they go into sleep? Why do they go into hiding? Just go home. They already are at home. And that's something now that I, I think this is definitely I feel like there's, there's stages in both the base game and the DLC where once you've reached that stage, there is no going back. You know, you can't unlearn it. And this is one of those things. As for today, I've got two options. I can either go to the, the tower sleep location, or we can go back to the Shrouded Woodlands and we can try and explore it before the, the, the dam collapses. I've seen a few people suggest trying to get into this music house before it all ends. Um, I mean, we've got a glimpse of it from a distance of what happens. And honestly, I don't think I'm quite emotionally ready. But that makes for much more interesting viewing. So I think, honestly, we might try to go back there before we move on, because even after the, the dam breaks, we have time to explore the rest of the settlement that's going on, because there's quite a lot of the settlement left to explore. There's a lot of stuff that we can go and have a look at. So, for today, this is not quite a smell of the pines. But it's definitely taking our foot off the gas, just to give us a bit of extra time to learn, or to process what we've learned. I think that's a better way of putting it. So without further ado, we've got some sleeping to do. As a bit of a disclaimer, I am warm. Um, we're getting a bit of a heat wave again in the UK. And normally that's not bad for recording, but I'm kind of pressed for time at the minute because of, of work. So, this is the only time that I have available to record. It also happens to be the only time that my neighbours have decided to get out a chainsaw for the first time in 12 months. Um, so I've had to shut all my windows. I have no ventilation or aircon. So this is going to be a very warm half an hour, but hopefully it'll be worth it. So we've finally been to the Forbidden Archive. 
A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There's a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Intact slides reveal the sacrifice that was made to build the stranger. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas and falling below the world. I cannot say how much I love that. I just love how, you know, there's, there's a bug in the simulation that we can exploit. I, I love it, I really do. I, I don't know how to feel about the fact that it is a simulation. I mean, I think we knew to an extent it's some form of simulation, but I thought it was going to be a bit more ethereal, a bit more voodoo. But the fact that somehow they have an actual digital, like, simulacrum of their home is actually kind of more interesting to me, because I, I, I genuinely didn't even begin to fathom that it was, you know, digital. I thought this was some other world, some other dimension, you know, we've seen so much of the quantum in Outer Wilds, I just kind of presumed it would be more of the same. Or something on that kind of vague vein. But no. These owls are just so smart that they have built a simulation seemingly out of nothing. You know, there's no real... There's no real kind of infrastructure in place other than... I mean, we can see there's a bit of pipe work here and there. And there's the the antenna. I think that should have been a bit of a, a clue. But to me, they could have been... My leading theory was they were kind of transmitting souls. I don't know why, that's where my brain went. I just presumed it was all to do with souls and such. Um, and to an extent, I would argue that these guys have, in fact, consumed their souls in all of this. But in a much more metaphorical sense. I still don't like the ghost matter, and there's still nothing being said about that. Um, one person, actually, in the comments, uh, forgive me, I can't remember the name, put down a really interesting theory that, in their mind, anyway, it entered through like the airlock um, or like a breach in the hull and it's just gone completely across because you can kind of see the two locations opposite from each other so that's that's a plausible theory and I like that as a theory um, for me I just feel like there needs to be more and I don't really know why I, I think there's just like a bit of my soul just really really hopes that there's more to it than that you know well, let's light these bits up for while we're while we're gone when you're gone and then we're gonna oh oh i need to wake up that's what i need to do i need to wake up oh hello sorry where am i going my good lord i feel like i've lost all motor functions Okay, so we've done this, now I need to get this way and get to the hidden gorge. We can do it. We can do it. We've done this before. Then we can go and have a bit of a slower pace episode. I guess this is the smell the pines. I guess this is the first smell the pines. Yeah, I'm calling it now. This is our first smell of the pines. So we're not actually doing anything particularly exciting or exploratory, or we're not meant to be doing. But you never know. Stranger things have happened. One of these days, I'm just going to get bored of doing literally anything. I'll be playing some random game. And then I'll just decide, you know what? I'm just going to go rafting. I'm going to spend like an hour of my life just rafting like this to the music, just vibing, just enjoying it, getting some practice in. Come on. 
every time we need to suddenly change direction, it's always really unnerving for me because I feel like it just doesn't quite have enough oomph. Even though it definitely does. It's that bit of the soundtrack. It's, it's that bit with like, the ethereal and then the guitar comes back in. It's almost like clockwork, right? And I don't think I'm ever going to be able to look at this place the same again. It... Every single bit of this beautiful craft is from home. It is home. It's not from home. This is home. This is all that's left. But still, I... <sighs> I think there is still part of me where, like, obviously I appreciate that they've gone to sleep and that they're dreaming of perhaps a time where they didn't do this, where everything's okay. But still, I don't see the long-term aim. Like, it, it feels like they've kind of forgotten that the real world exists. Like, look at them, they're all rotting. And they are, you know, I, I, I'm gonna die in that hill. They are rotting. So they're not looking after their physical selves anymore. They're not looking after the vessel either. Not the vessel, the stranger. Well, it's the vessel, but not, not that vessel, this vessel. Like, the, the guys in the music house are just vibing. They're just enjoying the music. They're enjoying the, the good vibes and seemingly forgetting that things wear down over time like i don't know if maybe they they do come out of this dream world every now and then and try do some maintenance or maybe it's just been a while or maybe they've forgotten like in my mind that's surely how this must have gone like there must have been times of like that they are so smart they are incredibly intelligent as a species. Also, I've just realized these are racks for reels, but there seems to be a distinct lack thereof. Um, they are so intelligent, so how could they mess up so badly? Like, it's made of wood. It's a wooden dam, even if it's made out of concrete or steel or something whatever alloy that this place is made out of, it would break down. Right? It just would. It, it just would. Would. Um, so it does feel like a bit of an oversight that they would let that happen. So maybe, I think, in my head canon, they did used to do maintenance, and then maybe they just they've become addicted to this place. Why are you seemingly out of place? What is with you? Why are you here? Also interesting, I've got some problem solving to do at some point. What would happen if I put down the artifact and then jumped in the water? Because the fire wouldn't get extinguished, right? Or is it just like the act of... Maybe it's a bit like in a dream, if you fall, or if you, you know, come close to drowning in a dream, or anything like that, you, you wake up. Maybe it's just that kind of thing, it's like that instinct, that base instinct to just wake up. Maybe that's what it is. But, I think we, we've got to do like a bit of theory crafting or like myth busting at some point. Maybe later in this series, or maybe after the base game's done. We might revisit this at some point in like a year or two and just kind of practice and see what we can figure out. I really want to get to explore this part of everything. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff there to look at. And I am not brave enough to do it while all the free clips are still kicking. You know. So I am going to wait until after we say goodbye to them. And once we've said goodbye, we will, you know, 
go and have an explore. See where they would live. See where they have been living in this place. But now that I've seen that they hide, you know, passages under tr trees and stuff, I really want to look everywhere. Because these guys are clever, right? Like, even this to an extent, if you don't pay attention, you could walk past this. Beg your pardon? Boop. Right, I am going to have to put my big boy pants on now because this could be potentially quite spooky. Oh, I'm determined to get in there. But I'm going to have to do this. And again, sorry because you guys are not going to be able to see anything shortly. Right, here we go. I keep walking towards them and hope there's not walls between me and them. Don't know how close I can get. Oh, guys, this is so much easier to see. Oh. Their hearing can't be that good because I'm stomping about like a mother trucker. That music is haunting. It's so strange seeing them move in a non-threatening manner. Gonna have to wait. There's another one coming. I'm so sorry. Um, no, 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 it's activated early. Or is that just that well timed? No. Surely they knew, surely they knew this was going to happen. Why does that feel like they disappeared before the water hit? Or is that just a sound taking time? They definitely, they... That felt wrong. I hope that wasn't me. I... Oh my god, I hope that wasn't me. Otherwise, I will never let myself live that down. Right, let us... Go and have a look now. Now that we know that they are, in fact... For better or worse, gone. I know that there was those... Hand things that we can go and have a look at. So I've been... I believe I've been in this one. I still want to know why everything is so like ethereal with them. Like, 
why does it all look the way it does? It is weird how they kind of sleep upright. I... I also can't tell if that's them calling out from another location. Because they've got to have heard, right, we can hear it anytime we go somewhere. So there's more to explore. So this must be like a little bit of the housing. There's got to be more housing back where those hands are. So we'll go and have a look. I just, I feel so bad because I judge these guys so, so harshly and I shouldn't have done. I really should not have done. Because it's something that is quite plausible that we would do. You know, the stuff that we would do in the name of science. Oh my god, we're going... We're going zoomies! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You son of a... It's a shortcut. It's a shortcut. <laughs> oh, how could you? I know for next time. I can just slink across here. I thought there must have been a reason why he would go up there. I feel so stupid. Right, what we'll do now, I want to... No, 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 no. I'm hoping that's just random sound effects. What we need to do is... Go back to the raft, and I need to prat about a little bit more with the... This is nice. This is where I would sit, I think. That's another dad spot. What we'll do, we'll go and we'll mess around just a little bit more with the simulation. See if there's anything new or anything different we can do down there. Because we went one way there, I, I don't feel like we could kind of get there. Um, which is the way that woke us up at the end of the last episode. But there's got to be something more to do there. I'm guessing is as we go to each of these locations, we'll kind of find the way that the simulation will grant us access to it. Because it's obviously a shortcut, right? That's what the this glitch is. It's giving us a quick way into the simulation. Like, like, into the base of the simulation, anyway. I wonder if falling at different places does it at different places? Like, we fell in this one last time, right? So if I zoom through real quick... Also, my peripherals, I swear I saw something that looked a bit like one of those things. one of the locker things, one of the slates that they took down. Right, so if I go in here and then fall off, am I going to fall to exactly the same? Yes, is the answer. No, I can't move while I'm falling. Okay. So I can... F <sighs> Doesn't look like... There's so many reels in there. I've got to be able to access these someplace. That definitely feels like a weird shortcut back to there, but I don't know why I would ever need to go back there.
So that's a shortcut to there. What's this do? If I just remove... Do I get anything new for doing that? Or am I just going to get the same old vision? Ah, I'm going to get just the same old vision, aren't I? Oh yeah, so, so this was the one that was telling me... I'm, I am just going to re-watch this, just in case I was missing anything. So we did go up there. And everything was damaged. So this is like the biggest kind of wild goose chase. Then I go up, they blow out those. Then that opens. Then they go in. Then it makes us think that this is where the combinations are, but the combinations are, in fact, not there. But they've got to be somewhere. One of them's destroyed. That one is destroyed. Which is frustrating as all hell and I just know um, so this one the alarms go off and I'm gonna guess this gate this is gonna like yeah that's what that's for oh that is so clever that is so clever It's wakey wakey time, but why did they not wake? Why did you not wake up? Can you even wake up? Are you even capable anymore? Or am I reading too much into this? Why? They can't be dead. Because otherwise, how are they? I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. There we go. I feel really confused. Because they're awake. No, they're not awake. They're, they're able to still function in the sleeping world, right? So there must be some semblance of them left up there. There's one more thing we have to do. There's one more thing I have to do. Right, there's one more thing. Before I end this, I, I have to know what happens. For my own sake, I have to know if nothing happens or... To put this to rest once and for all, I need to know. There's a lot, a lot of things that I need to know. I need to know what is in that sarcophagus, is the other big thing. 
Because for me, it could be one of two things. It's either forbidden knowledge. It's something that we have to pass all these tests to prove ourselves worthy of, to be able to find out whatever it is that they were so utterly ashamed of. Or... It's someone. Now, we know there's like a missing body, right? And I... A few episodes ago, I theorized it's probably the one that blew themselves up. Which used to be quite funny, but in hindsight now is actually really ups really sad that they're gone for their time. Or it's whoever called them here. It's whoever said Hey guys, there's this thing in the sky and it is singing, it is calling to us, this echo has reached us. We should go look. That's the only thing I think it could be. It's either that or like I said, it's it's knowledge. It is a bit of a weird shape for it to just be knowledge. Surely you could put it in a little box or something. It looks too much like a sarcophagus for it to not be. At least in my mind. Anyway, also I didn't check to see if there's anything more to explore. Because if there is, then I'm missing something. But I can't be bothered to go back to the ship now. Actually, no, I have time. I literally have time. I need to go right. Can I get back there safely? Probably not, actually. No, never mind. I'm not going to try it. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna sleep it off. We're going to wait. Because I need to know. Right. I don't know how long it takes. I'm hoping... I've not seen the green effect before. I don't think we fell asleep long enough last time. I shouldn't have done that. I should have stayed asleep. I need to know what happens to the bodies. Right. One thing I need to find out. I think we're going to do that first. Right. It's time to do a bit of myth busting. If I put that there. First of all I can use it as a light source. Which is cool. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. I'm using my big brain. My big nugget of a brain. Oh, my mouse bar's stuck. My mouse bar? My space bar. Jesus. Right. Did I not look behind this before? Right. My thinking. If we can go, right, to the sleepy place. Not the sleepy place, we're in the sleepy place. If we can go to the simulation break, right? There was a place where it looked like we could kind of get to it, but we just, the water, you know, was, was a problem. What if I leave this here, or like leave it before I jump in? Oh no, because then I might need this for something. Like I might need this for lighting. Or for looking at reels. But still, it's a good theory, and I've got time to kill. The worst thing that happens is I wake up again. You know? I do want to know that. Oh, part of me really wants to know, though, what would happen 
if I... What's the word? What would happen, do you think, if we went into that party house, music house, whatever, and actually went up into the middle? Because I don't know if they would do anything. They seemed quite intent on looking at whatever they were looking at. Actually, no, I don't think this is quite good an idea as I thought it was going to be. Why would you let me come here if I can't reach it? You know? Why would you let me get over here if I can't reach sugar? I don't want to hear a word out of any of you. Okay, I'm, I'll be back right back. I'm just going to go check. There was more to see there. There was, and I need to go back and have a look. Right. We don't have long. Uh, I don't like doing science on you guys, especially because you're dying. You're all just sleeping nice and peacefully. Sorry, I... If we did this, like three or four episodes ago, I'd probably take some level of glee in watching this. But now I really am not happy that I'm here and doing this, but I, I need to see. I need to see if anything happens, you know? Because it could be that maybe nothing happens. It could be maybe the flames just go out and that's it. And or it could be some real nightmare fuel. Like we see them like gasping for breath. That'd be horrible. Surely not. I don't think they're that cruel. You know? I hope. I don't want to look away, because if I look away and then the dam breaks, I need to know when everything goes haywire. So maybe the dam is what's powering a lot of this, maybe? Because there is water going through it, it's not just like a full dam that stops the water. That could maybe be how they're getting a lot of their power, but then when it breaks, they shouldn't have power. Like, anywhere. But I swear to God, if any one of you moves, I'm gonna cry on the inside. Not on the outside. I would never cry on the outside. If you think you've seen me cry, on me. It's not me. It would never be me. Oh, come on, water. I thought it was so much closer to breaking. I do really, really like their jewellery, though. Never, I have looked closely at them before, but never closely enough. Why do they sleep upright? Maybe like if they sleep like completely laid down, maybe they can't get themselves back up again. Or maybe they just have like little cat naps. That's quite cool. I do like how both cultures, the Nomai and these guys, 
they've thought about it to an extent of what would their beds be like. Like, the Nomai have those real funky curved ones, because, like, their legs are a certain way. I mean, to say, I think they're similar to these guys. I can't remember the name for it. It's like digit digitate, uh, di di something about digits, right? You know, where their legs bend arguably the wrong way. I'm, I'm going to do exactly the thing that I said that I wasn't going to do. Oh, that sounds right. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the good stuff. We're going to get flooded in a minute. The, the other thing as well, I forget that I'm in a spacesuit right now. If I end up underwater, that is not the end of the world. I forget that. dead. I was right, they're just dead. Then how were they still dreaming? There's nothing left of them, how can they still dream? I genuinely don't know. I just don't understand how they could still be doing that. By all logic. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. The next time we're gonna have to go to the tower location and we're gonna have to try and remember our way through that. <laughs> that one looks more like a maze than any of the others. I still think the gorge is gonna be the hardest one. I feel like that's one I'm gonna struggle with the most. Just because there's just there's there's freaklets directly in our path, right? There's no way out of that. So next time we're going to have to go to the tower and we're going to have to see if we can find if there is a passcode. Because if all of them are burnt, I don't know where they could be. Unless there's some... If, if the way of beating the DLC is purely by just accessing exploits in the software, I will be so miffed. I will. Like, genuinely, I think. But in a funny way. I love this game. And I love... The mix of emotions you feel while you play it. I I apologise if this time round I've been a little bit kind of all over with what I've been saying. I'm genuinely struggling to process everything. I still want to know more... And I just wish I could reach out and tell them that I'm sorry. That I'm sorry for everything. That I wish they could go home. That I wish they could see the sunset one more time. That they don't have to hide and dream. But we can't. That's not in our power to do so. I just feel like there's some part of them that is still alive and kicking and I can't save the Nomai. But I just keep thinking maybe there's some part of these guys I can save. 
That's all I've got time for today, though. I'm going to go try and chill. I'm going to open up all the windows and have a nice breath of fresh air. Thank you all for the love and the support. Thank you for watching. As always, I have been Sturx. You guys have been incredible. And I will catch you all later for the next part of our little adventure.